Hello friends, my name is Tushar and today I'm going to discuss the question max histogram area. So the question is you're given an array and the elements of an array denote the height of a bar in a bar graph. You have to find the maximum rectangular area in this graph. For example, I'm given an array 1, 2 and 4. So height of my bars in, in this graph is 1, 2 and 4. Width is constant of unit 1. So your, you have to find is the rectangular with the maximum area. For example, for this, uh, for this graph, my rectangle with the maximum area is this, and then the area is 4. Another, another rectangle with area 4 is this. So in either case, my max area for this bar graph is 4. So there are many algorithms to solve this problem. We will, use a, we will look at a stack-based algorithm which does this in O of n time. Let's look at the steps for this algorithm. So first thing you have to do is add to the top, add to the stack if the current value is greater than or equal to the top of the stack. If the current value is less than the top of the stack, keep removing elements from the stack till you find an element till the top of the stack is less than or equal to the current value. And while you're removing element from the stack, you apply this very simple formula to find the area. And if this area is greater than the max area, then max area becomes this area. So let's try these steps on a few of the examples. Let's start with a stack. And my array is 1, 2 and 4. So my i initially is 0. Since the stack is empty, I just put i into the stack. Uh, notice how I'm putting the index in the stack and not the actual value in the stack. Then my i becomes 1. Since the value at high which is 2 is greater than the value at the top of the stack which is 1 so I can go into the stack so uh, we again add 1 and my i becomes 2. Since the value at 2 is again greater than the value at the top of the stack which is 2 so 4 is greater than 2 so 2 can also go on the top of the stack. So again notice these are ind indices and not the actual numbers. Now we have reached the end of the array, so all we are going to do is pop from this stack till the stack is not empty and keep calculating the area using this formula. So my top becomes 2 and i is 3. So I pop, pop that from the stack. Since the stack is not empty, input of top which is 4 into i which is 3 minus stack top which is uh, 1 minus 1 so this is 4 so my area becomes 4 my max area becomes 4 since max area is less than area and it's pretty clear that this bar here is contributing area 4 now my top becomes 1 I remove that from the stack so again stack is not empty so input of top which is 2 into i which is 3 minus 0 minus 1 so this value is also of uh, this value is also 4 so area is 4 so max area is also 4 does not change so what happened here was I know that everything from I from uh, top to I is at least of value 2 and I also know that everything from I till 0 not including 0 is also at least of value 2 so I can safely say that my area will be i which is this value and minus this value and minus 1 and then multiply that number with this value to get the area. It will be more clear when we look at this example. So finally my top becomes 0. Here this is done. So here my stack is empty. So I apply this formula input of top which is 1 into i so that is 3 and this is 3. So my area becomes 3. Area is not greater than max area, so we don't change the max area. Again, when the, stock, when the stack was empty, I just multiplied with the length of an array. Since that guy was the last element in the stack, what I know is that every value in, this, in the array is going to be greater than this number, which is why this guy is the last value in the stack. So we can safely multiply this with the length of an array to get the maximum area with this height. And uh, that area was not greater than max area, so we didn't change the max area. Okay, so the max area for this example is 4. 
Let's try this example here. So my array is 2, 1, 2, 3, 1. So my i is 0, my area is 0, max area is minus 1, and top we don't know yet. So since stack is empty, 0 goes, here, goes in here directly. Now we go to 1, so i becomes 1. So since the value at i is not greater than or equal to value at 0, which is 2, so what we do is we keep popping from the stack till a smaller number or an empty stack is found. So we pop uh, from the stack, so top becomes zero. Then I calculate the area. Area is, since the stack is empty, area is input of top, which is uh, two into i, which is one, so two. So my area is two. And since max area is less than area, my max area also becomes two. So it's pretty clear that this two here is contributing, this uh, value here is contributing two to the area. Then I push one into the stack. Now my i becomes two. Value at two is greater than value at the top of the stack, so two goes on top of one. Now my i becomes three. Value of three, which is three, is greater than value at two, which is two, so three goes on top of stack. Now my i becomes four. Value at four, which is one, is not greater than value at three, which is three, which so I keep popping from this stack till a smaller or equal number is found. So, uh, uh, so my top becomes three. I remove it from the stack. Since the stack is not empty, my formula of area will be input of top. So that is uh, input of three, which is three, into i, which is four, minus stack of top, which is one, minus one. So this is three. So my new area becomes three, and since area is greater than max area, my max area also becomes three. It's pretty clear that this three here is contributing three to the area. Now, uh, now my value at top, which is two, is still uh, greater than the value at four, which is one. So I again pop that from the top of the stack, so my top becomes two. And again, recalculate the area. So area is, since the stack is not empty, my area is value at two, which is two, into i, which is four, minus one, minus one, so this is four. So my area becomes four, and this area also becomes four. So here two is uh, getting, so this area is this area, and it's pretty clear that since i is four, Everything between 2 and 2 is 4, but not including 4, has to be have a value at least greater than 2, which is why we can safely multiply 2 with this number, this uh, difference here, to get the area. Finally, uh, now my four value at 4, which is 1, is greater than or equal to value at 1, which is also 1. So 4 goes on top of this guy. Alright, now my i becomes 5 and I've reached the end of a uh, array. So I keep popping elements from here. So my top becomes four. So uh, my top becomes four. My stack is not empty, so I apply this formula. So input of top, which is one, into i, which is five, minus stack of top, which is uh, one minus one. So this is uh, three. So my area becomes three. And since my area is not greater than max area, I change nothing. So again, notice how when I remove this value from here, what I know is that everything from i, which is five, till this point, so everything from here to here, at least has an area, at least has a height of one. So I can safely multiply one with this numbers here. So this difference here, so that's three to get my area. Finally, I take out uh, I take out top so my i becomes uh, my i is five my top becomes one and my stack is empty so since my stack is empty I apply this formula so input of top which is one into i which is five which is area is five so area becomes five since area is greater max greater than max area my max area becomes five again since this guy was the last guy what I know is that this number here has to be the smallest number in the entire array. 
So all you have to do is multiply this number with the length of an array to get the max to the, get the area and that area is greater than max area so max area also becomes that area. So for this example here my max area is 5 and this is the rectangle which gives me the max area. The space complexity for this algorithm is size of the stack which in worst case is O of n. The time complexity in the worst case will be 2 of n which is also O of n. Finally, if you are interested in looking at the code, I am going to show the screen on my laptop so that we can follow the code. Let's quickly look at the code. So the name of the class is max histogram area. The name of the function is max histogram and it takes input array, which is the height of the bar graph, bars in bar graph, and it, re and it returns the max area. So for our example here, I have input 212, which, has, which looks like this in a bar graph. So first thing I do is I initialize a stack, which is right here. My max area is zero, my area is zero. I is initially zero. So we go into this for loop, zero, so I becomes zero. Zero is less than input, uh, zero is less than input length. So if stack is empty, stack is empty. So we put I into the stack and uh, make i plus plus so i becomes one then we go back top of the for loop now i is one i one is still less than input length if stack is empty so stack is not empty so we go into this other or condition input at zero is less than equal to input at one which is not true so we do not go into this if condition and go into this else condition so my top becomes uh, so we pull from the stack and give that value to top. So my top becomes zero. So if stack is empty, so stack is empty right now. So area is input of top into i. Input of top is two and into i is one. So my area becomes two. And since area is greater than max area, my max area becomes two. Then we go back to the top of the for loop. Now stack is empty, so I offer whatever i is into the stack. So I so one goes into the stack, and we increment i by one. So i becomes two. Now we go back top of the for loop. Two is still uh, less than three. Stack is empty, so stack is not empty. So we go into this else condition. Input at one is less than equal to input at two, which is true. So we add two into this stack and my i becomes three. Finally, uh, since three is not less than three, so we do not go into this for loop anymore and we go into this while loop. Uh, so st while stack is not empty, top is equal to stack so uh, top becomes uh, uh, so top becomes the top of the stack. So we remove two from the we remove two from the stack, and we assign that value to top. So top becomes two. If stack is empty, so stack is not empty right now. So area is we do this calculation of area. Area is input of top into i minus stack peak minus one. So input of top is two minus uh, into i is 3 minus 1 minus 1. So area becomes 2. So area is not greater than max area. So we do we do not change the max area. So we go back top of the while loop while stack is not empty. Stack is still not empty right now. So top becomes 1. So we remove 1 from here and we give that value to uh, top. So my top becomes 1. If stack is empty, now stack is empty, so area becomes input of top into i. So my area becomes 3. And area is greater than max area, so my max area also becomes 3. So now stack is empty, so we do not go into this while loop, and finally we just return the max area, which is 3. So the max area, so max area rectangle here will be this one. And its area is three. Let's quickly run this code. So max area is three.
The link to this code is in the description section of the video. Finally, I would ask the viewers to like, comment, and share this video. Subscribe to my channel, to Tushara2525, and contribute to my GitHub repository at github.com, Mission Peace Interview Wiki. Thanks for watching this video.